welcome back to the Chinese. 我是你们老师 Gloria. Today we are going to learn some words and phrases about greeting in Mandarin. So first, hello, 你好，你好，你 ，you 好 ，good， 你好 ，hello. But actually, normally we will not say 你好 to our friends when we just meet some stranger or the customer service. We will use 你好 So how could we say to our friends? It's quite easy. So if you meet your friend in the morning, you just say, "Hey, 早，早 Instead of 早上好，早上好 Good morning. Just say 早 will be more friendly or close. How to say good afternoon, good evening? Well, yeah, we also have that one. So it will be 下午好。下午好 ，Good afternoon， and 晚上好，晚上好 ，Good evening. But as I say, yeah, it's just from the book. Instead of that, we will um ask in three way. Since eating is quite important for us, so when we greet to someone, instead of saying 你好 we just ask, Have you eaten? 吃了吗？吃了吗？吃 ，eat 了 is the past tense 吗？吃了吗 ？Have you eaten? Number two, we just indicate some status. For example, if we see her going out, we just say, "Hey, 出去啊，出去啊，出去，出去 ，go out. Are you going out?" Or as a labor, when we see our labors going out, we could ask, "Where are you going?" Right? 去哪儿？去哪儿 ？Where are you going? Actually, for these two expressions of greeting, actually we don't care about your answer. For example, if we ask you, "Have you eaten?" 吃了吗？ Actually, we don't care have you eaten or not. If you haven't eat, it doesn't mean that we will invite you to dinner together. But we just ask you for politeness. In the other way, when we ask you where are you going, it doesn't mean that we are going to go with you or asking you out to hang out with you. So、um, if you feel it's your piracy, so you could just tell me that. 出去办点事，出去。办点事，出去 go out。办点事，办点事 deal with something。出去办点事 ，go out for something。So how could we answer? Have you eaten? 吃了吗 ？You say 还没呢，还没呢 ，not yet. Or you have already finished your lunch or dinner. Just say 吃了。你呢 ？What about you? 吃了，你呢 ？I have eaten. What about you? Or when we meet our leader or our boss or our teacher to show our respect to them, we will just call their title and their at how. For example, in China, when the student meet me, they could say, 老师好，老师好，老师 ，teacher. 好 ，good. So it's a way to greeting to your teacher, and you you could also like when you meet your manager, you could say, 经理好，经理好 And we could also add their family name in front. For example, I my family name is Wu, so you could call me Wu 老师好，吴老师好 Hello, Wu 老师 Last time we have already learned if you want to ask how are you or are you okay. So in this way, 你还好吧？你还好吧 ？Are you okay? Instead of using 你好吗？
你好吗 ？How are you? Actually, we don't ask in this way. 你还好吧？你还好吧？ So in this video, we have already learned about asking, "Are you okay? Are you sick?" So if you want to ask, "How is going?" Hey, how you doing? 最近怎么样？最近怎么样？最近怎么样？最近 recently 怎么样 ？How 最近怎么样？ How is it recently, or how's going? Nothing happened. Everything goes well. So you can answer, 都挺好的，都挺好的。Everything is good. Everything is just okay. A few moments later, and then after the awkward conversation, then yeah. You have to go. Then you could say, 先走了，先走了，先 first 走 go 先走了 I'm leaving now. To tell people that we would like to talk with you later, we will say in this word. 改天聊，改天聊，改天 the other day 聊 talk. 改天聊 Talk to you the other day. Actually, for goodbye, I know that in the book maybe they will tell you 再见再见 but actually around day we just say bye 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 in English. It's okay. It's quite common. Even though my mom, they would not say 再见谢谢谢谢 Thank you. Or you could say, "Oh, 谢谢老师 thank you, teacher." 谢谢老师 And then I say, "You're welcome." 不客气，不客气，不客气 You're welcome. So 客 here it means guest. So we say 不客气 is normally means don't treat me as a guest or We are quite close. You don't need to be so polite. And then, if you want to say sorry, 对不起，对不起，对不起 ，sorry. If you want to say it doesn't matter, it's not a big deal. 没关系，没关系 ，it doesn't matter. You want to beg her forgiveness, then you could say, 请原谅我吧，请原谅我吧，请 please 原谅，原谅 forgive 我 me 吧，请原谅我吧 ，please forgive me. Then before bed, if you want to say good night. 晚安，晚安 ，Good night. I know some people would like to say sweet dreams, 好梦，祝你好梦 Wish you have a sweet dream, 好梦，祝你好梦 But it's a little bit weird to speak out. This video could help you out when you trying to get on well with your Chinese friends. If you like today's video, don't forget to give me a big thumb up and subscribe my YouTube channel, Top Chinese with Gloria. And if you have any ideas about my last video, please don't hesitate to leave me a comment. 谢谢，改天见，拜拜。